Each Holton model FDI fire damper is supplied complete with installation instructions. You can find the installation options that have been type approved in the instructions. As with other Holton fire dampers, model FDI can be installed in all types of walls and masonry floors. When installing the fire damper in a lightweight wall, the installation opening must match the duct size as closely as possible. Install a steel frame or wooden support at the edge of the opening. Fill the corners with non-flammable mineral wool that has a nominal weight of 40 kilograms per cubic meter. The Holton model FDI is the lightest EIS-60 fire damper on the market and is easy to install. In thick structures, it is good practice to make a duct joint prior to the installation. Attach the damper flange to the wall frame. After installing, test the functionality of the product before carrying out the fireproof sealing. Fireproof sealing can be carried out efficiently with GBG, Hilti or Wurt firestop sealants. Mix the sealant according to the manufacturer's instructions. Fireproofing can be carried out reliably from one side of the damper unit by filling the casting frame with the sealant. The sealing is done by a specialized installation company following the fireproofing plan. The sealing will be more efficient if all units in the building are sealed as a single operation. The presence of an approved firebreak is indicated by a fireproofing type approval label. The fire damper has now been installed correctly. The product can also be installed very near the ceiling. This permits optimal use of the room height. To ensure the functionality of a manual fire damper after it has been sealed, set the blade to the open position and tighten the thermal fuse. The damper works correctly if the blade closes when the thermal fuse is released. When installing the product in a masonry wall, first use the damper to mark the location of the cross holes. Drill the holes and insert the wedge anchors or inserts. The Holton model FDI is light enough for one person to lift into place to attach the corner mountings. Next, drill the remaining holes and install the necessary inserts or wedge anchors. Use 8mm wedge anchors or inserts for the installation. After installing and before sealing, protect the damper's actuator with a plastic sheet. Use a rigid fireproofing sealant for sealing or floor slab installations. A properly planned firebreak is confirmed with the fireproofing type approval label. The fire damper has now been installed correctly. In the case of the motorized model, the correct mechanical functioning of the blade should be tested before installing the fuse. The testing is done with no voltage applied by using the hex key supplied with the motor. Open the fire damper blade with the hex key and release pressure on the key. The blade should then close. The thermal fuse can then be installed. Drill a 10 mm diameter hole for the thermal fuse. Attach the thermal fuse to the duct with suitable screws. Select a location for the thermal fuse that will not interfere with the closing of the blade. Finally, secure the damper identification label close to the unit. The dampers can also be easily installed as a module. When installing fire dampers side by side, you can remove the opposing metal frames of the casting frame. Fasten the dampers in place in the same way as for the ceiling installation. Complete the firebreak by filling the casting frame up to its edges with a fireproofing sealant. Finally, confirm the correct installation of the unit by signing the installation certificate. Holton provides a complete range of products for ventilation fire safety. The most recent FDI makes installing fireproofing plates quick and easy. This product conforms to the latest European regulations. Holton FDI